Hey everybody, welcome to Heat My Shorts. I hope you're all doing well today. I've got some old Dutch cheese pleasers puffed corn snacks to review today, and I'm going to be putting some late for Scoville pepper tincture on them. Uh, but before I get to these, I just want to thank you all for the warm welcome back yesterday. I really appreciate all the positive comments in the comment section of yesterday's video. I know I've only answered a couple of the comments. I think I've read most of them, but I haven't replied to all of them, of course. You know, it's me here. Um, but anyways, thank you all very much. It does feel really good to be back and creating content, doing something with my days again. Uh, so anyways, let's get to these. Old Dutch cheese pleasers puffed corn snacks. More cheese taste. I don't know if they mean more than the competition or more than before. I don't know if they've increased their cheese content recently or not. It says there's zero trans fats, low in saturated fatty acids, and no gluten. It's like they're trying to make it sound like it's a health food. <laughs> um, I'll read you the back here. The che uh, Cheese Pleasers features the very best cheese taste available. <laughs> That's interesting. That's very interesting. The best cheese. Oh, each pleaser is smothered with a special blend of cheddar and blue cheese flavorings, so that delicious cheese taste always comes through with every bite. Now, I'm not going to read you the ingredients. You know, it's a bag of chips kind of a snack. It's a one of these sorts of things. Um, there's a few things in there for sure. I did notice that there's paprika extract. Now, I have had these you know, growing up. I've had them many times growing up, and I've never noticed any sort of spice, so it must just be a color thing. I'm not really sure. I do notice that there's Sunset Yellow FCF food for coloring. No, food. What is FCF? For coloring food? Is that how it goes? I don't know. Anyways, let's open these up and try them out. Funny thing, I've actually bought these like probably three times. This is probably the third time that I've bought them with the intent of reviewing them, but I just didn't review them the last two times. I just opened them up and ate them. One of them was in the last month or so. I just wanted some cheesies and I didn't go to the store. So anyways, here's what they look like in the bag. Funny thing about these, I used to always prefer crunchy cheesies growing up on that. No, nope, doesn't want to focus on that. There we go. But lately I've been really digging these puffed cheesies. They're good for adding tincture to. Let's try them out. Old Dutch cheese pleasers puffed corn snacks. Eat my shorts. Very light and fluffy poof to them. <laughs> Mm hmm It's not really even a, a crunch. I really like the flavor of these. It is that, you know, it reminds me of artificial cheese flavor, even though it does say it's made with real cheese. But I enjoy it. These are good. Have one more. So for a flavor rating, I'd probably give them, I'll say an eight and a half out of 10. Yeah, I think that's a fair, you know, fair rating without leaning too hard into the bias. Cause I'm really, you know, these are a ch childhood snack. These really take me back. These are uh, nostalgic. That's the word I'm trying to think of. Not really a lot of you know, crumblies or colors stuck to the fingertips there, which I kind of like, doesn't require a napkin after every couple of cheesies. I would definitely restock these. I have restocked them a couple of times in the last few months, and I would definitely restock them again. I'm just putting some onto a plate here. How many should I do here? I wouldn't mind getting a decent burn, to be honest with you. I'm going to put a few out. More than four. <laughs> there we go. Just a few. 
and I'll just put these right here. So now I'm going to be adding some late for Scoville pepper tincture to these. Oh, I've got this many of them. Is that eight? Or is that nine? Ten. That's ten. Yeah, that's ten of them. <laughs> and I'm going to add, I don't know, a couple drops to each one. I'm not really sure how much. I'll try to keep it on frame for you here. And I guess I do want to give this a good shaky shake because this has been in the freezer for a while. I'm pretty stoked that I found this for sure. And I'm also very stoked that putting in the putting it in the freezer seemed to really help to preserve it. There we go, let's just grab a grab a good squeeze of it there. And go one, two. I'm not gonna count them all. I'm gonna do two on each one. It's kind of hard for me not to count out loud, to be honest. <laughs> so I hope your day's been going well. We actually got some errands taken care of this morning. I almost dropped the dropper just now. Oh, and I missed the cheesy on that one. Yeah, I got some of Maggie's stew and her glucosamine. And what else did we do? Got my prescription picked up. Went for a little walk. Here's what they look like. They don't really look any different with the tincture on them. It kind of soaks right into them. Let's eat them. This is Old Dutch Cheese Pleasers with Late for Works, Late for Scoville 2.0 pepper tincture. Keep my shorts. Yeah, it's kind of ramping up, not too bad. Hmm. I was kind of hoping to be able to taste that pepper tincture a little bit more. Because this is a delicious pepper tincture. It's a nice salty seasoned pepper tincture it does go really well with these in the sense that they kind of blend together added a nice little bit of heat to it for sure for a flavor rating i'd still say it's about an eight and a half it didn't really change the flavor a whole lot but it did add a decent creeping burn to it i would say that probably put me to a two and a half out of ten. Pretty um, substantial throat burn. It's got my temperature risen. It's got me sweating a little bit for sure. Um, yeah, good ba back of the mouth burn. That was a really good combo. I would definitely do that again. Yeah, that was good. <laughs> Now, what did they say? Blue cheese and Romano. Wait a second. I don't see blue cheese listed on the... Yeah, it says cheddar cheese on the ingredients list. But on the description, it says cheddar and blue cheese. Is Romano a type of blue cheese? No. Hmm, interesting. I'm not sure what that's all about. But anyways, that was a good snack, good little burn, and now I think I should give this cute little doggy some pets. Yeah, she's such a good girl. I did kind of insist, pardon me, <clears throat> I did kind of insist on her being out here for this video. I lured her out here with toys and, and a, a treat. I don't know, I just wanted her out here for this. 
Right, Maggie? Yeah. You're such a good girl. Yeah, you know, that was a decent little burn. Really warmed me up. Can I have a paw? You missed, but that's okay. It counts. You're a good girl, Maggie. So anyways, I think that's about it for this video. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Thank you very much for taking this time to hang out with us. And we'll see you on the next one. I love you all and I appreciate you all very much. This has been Heat My Shorts with Maggie and Steve. The Maggie Show. Bye-bye.